versus Mr. Funk Bygman, the Honorable Dunkey Douglas presiding. All right, everybody, sit down. This is really getting on my nerves. You guys are taking up too much of my time. Marcus Hobson, please come to the stand. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? Homie, I made you rich. Paid your rent. Damn right. Fighting the hand that was feeding you, this shit don't make any sense. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know this is that real shit. How you gonna forget who built this, huh? I'm the one who made the company all the millions. Now you got problems to deal with. Man, this is tough luck. See, a couple weeks ago we was buzz. And that dude that was killing shit was us. Till you turned on me, homie, that's fucked up. I ain't keeping this shit on the hush hush. On my chest, I just carry too much stuff. I done had it enough, it's enough, bro. Plus, I needed something to get my buzz up. You don't fuck with the wrong dude. Ain't no telling what Hobson is gon' do Creeping up on you Quit your sleeping, I told you This a motherfucking journey we finna go through If I ain't had so much to lose I swear to God I'd probably beat up and choke you Damn. Nigga, this is that raw shit right. That organic flow you probably see up in Whole Foods Shepard made timbers Something's fishy about you, Mr. D. Ritter When I told you that I wanted new management Why the fuck you throw a fit and seem bitter? Why you catch an attitude whenever I question you Bet on my fucking percentages? I know why, why? You been bending it in your benefit Your honor, I'm innocent This nigga crazy I'm just Telling all of my people, you tell him. He taking all of my C-notes. See, he has a gambling issue. We taste the cash and blows it all like casinos. Damn. Uh -oh. When I bring up my royalties, you start avoiding me. That's some disloyalty. You woke up the evil boy in me. Your ass is poisoning. Tell me why you would destroy me. This was a fucking vision that I had created with your brother. But you too infatuated with the money. You killed it and ran it straight into the gutter. Now I think, why'd I make the A me the boss? You keep pissing a whole lot of people off. Our whole label came out with a weak result. You on that same bullshit to me, bro. Hold up, hold up, I got some more shit to say. Yeah. It's supposed to be fuck all you isn't it? Thought it was music above all the business. But you just said fuck all you niggas. You tarnished the brand and you started the front volume fitness? Come on, I really think. Got us portraying something we really ain't. How we supposed to be ill when you on our website with a shake weight trying to be Billy Blanks? Nigga, thanks. Phone, ain't nobody trying to lift weights. We just want to hit up the studio and just rap and do shows. But you don't understand the culture of hip hop. You a lame ass nigga, damn half the crew knows. New way, Jerry Heller, a scary fella. I hate your fucking name, every letter. I'm very fed up. You acting like an ordinary heifer. I'ma take you to the mortuary dress up. We gave you our trust, then you had us cornered. You got us a shitty label deal with Warner. And if I confront you about it, you tell me I need counseling and I got a disorder. You send me your joy and it's horror. Shitty hotels, no sleep, with no food to order. Meet and grease every single day is torture. How you expecting the A1 performer? Every time something's wrong, it's the same thing. What? Blah, 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 you just blame me. Damn. Then you tell Brooklyn and Jamie. Damn. Now they both thinking I'm crazy. Damn. I deal with this on the day. Damn. My career mentally wakes me. Damn. I won't let this nigga break me. He praying dizzy, right? His go replace me. Shady. What are your fucking motives, Dane? Let's talk about it. Hmm. You're our manager, our label owner, our accountant. Hmm, that's kind of tricky. Something is fishy. That's risky. We just don't even know. We go with the flow while you row in the boat. You keeping it simple minded, cause you know when our only concern is just hoping we blow. So when all the money come in from our album and tours, you sit there and soak in the dough. When did we ever ask about the gross? When did we ever ask about the net? You would just hand us money from our shows, cause you knew we wasn't questioning the checks. Nigga, I trusted you with my life. You up your percentage, so I'm making less? Fuck you, bitch. You get no respect This is what hoppers coming for your neck Bless All you care about is making money You don't care about a fucking soul though You just fluctuate our dollars up and down At your convenience like a fucking pogo You been screwing everybody on the label On the low and they don't even know though So good luck, Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz I'm going solo Nigga, I don't know what you thought You think I can't see the blood on the walls I'm the walls I ain't going down Nigga, I don't know what you thought I can clearly see the blood on the wall. Got it going down, nigga. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you.
everybody knows we'll be home. Change is one of the most difficult things that we face, but change is inevitable. One reason we don't like change is we get comfortable where we are. We get used to our friends, our job, the place we live, and even if it's not perfect, we accept it because it's familiar. And what happens, because we're not willing to change, we get stuck in what God used to do instead of moving forward into what God is about to do. And just because God's blessed you where you are doesn't mean you can just sit back and settle there. You have to stay open to what God is doing now. What worked five years ago may not work today. If you're going to be successful, you have to be willing to change. Every blessing is not supposed to be permanent. Every provision is not supposed to last forever. We should constantly evaluate our friendships. Who's speaking into your life? Who are you depending on? Make sure they're not dragging you down, limiting you from blossoming. Everybody is not supposed to be in our life forever. If you don't get rid of the wrong friends, you will never meet the right friends.